Good morning. This is kind of a response video to Pira 314 and a video called Will Call on Advanced Topics, which is in turn a response to one of Greatex's videos. Hi there, Pira. Hi, Greatex. The, uh, the difficulty I always have with these kind of conversations, and sorry to be persnickety about a particular point, is that quite often, as you do here, Pira, you separate out thought from the operate, rest of the operations of the universe. You know, you're, you're, you're citing this um, this idea of this homeless person who is, I would say, fatalistic rather than deterministic, but either way has, has determined or has decided that the universe has determined their fate for them and has and they've decided they can't do anything about it. And then you say, well, well, they can, they can exert their will, they can think, yes, I can, even though it is determined, I can do something about it. But, you know, I'm sure you know this, but the, 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 um, that assumes that thought operates outside of any kind of deterministic process. And there's no evidence that that's the case. I mean, that, in, in a sense, that's the thing we're talking about. So to keep returning to this idea that we can somehow, that somehow the rest of the universe might have some kind of determination running through it, but there's a little germ of, of, um, of, of, of freedom going on in our thought processes, that just keeps returning the same problem. You know, the, the, the idea is here that the homeless person lying in the street, their thought processes are the results also of naturalistic, deterministic, ultimately, although undoubtedly complex and probably quantum, um, processes. They, they, they can't think outside of the box. They are thought as much as, you know, they, 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 yeah, they are thought, really. They are their they're moment-to-moment sense of being, which they call thoughts, we call thoughts, are part of the fabric of the the operations of the universe, just the same as everything else. The analogy that I've got, I've been thinking of, and obviously this is an analogy, but it's just a thought experiment for myself, is in terms of dreams. You know, because when you're dreaming, uh, at least when I'm dreaming, you know, and I'm and I'm kind of awake in my dream, and I'm looking around at things. You know, I don't. Ha my will is not operating in my dream. At least it doesn't. When I wake up, I realise that my will has not been operating. My the, the the my brain has been producing me in my dreams. It's also been producing whatever thoughts were going on in my mind whilst I was dreaming, and I can fully acknowledge that when I wake up, even though whilst I was asleep, I seem to have the same kind of intentionality, the same agency, the same will as I do in, in as I do now, sitting here at my kitchen table, making this video. Um, but clearly, after the fact, I recognise that's not the case. I wake up in the morning and I, and I describe my dream, and my dream includes my own the, th the thoughts that my surrogate um, sleeping uh, person had. Do you know what I mean? So that the the thoughts are as determined as every other part of that, including, as I say, the ones I'm having right now. Um, and I know you don't buy, I don't even like the term hard determinism, but let's just use that for now. Um, no, you don't fully buy that, and you you want to believe that there's a canoe with a paddle, and even though this, the river is sweeping us downstream, we do have this little tiny paddle of, of of waking consciousness that we can just steer ourselves a little bit in. I don't I don't I think that's incoherent. I'm sorry, I really do. Um, so yeah, there's something else I was going to say here. Actually, just see if I can recover it from my half asleep state. Um, yeah, I can't get it. I don't think. Well, it's just to do with with accountability, really. I mean, what we what, and this is going to sound quasi-religious, I think. I mean, one of the things I think we can do, oh, that that we, that because in a sense we have to find an escape for this, don't we? I mean, if if our if our thoughts are actually the thoughts of a system, and and the the sense that we have as being a, an active agent responsible for those thoughts and the decisions that come out of those thoughts. If we want to recover some kind of sense of that, what we I think the only way to do it is to adopt a quasi-religious sense of um, of almost gratitude or of almost thankfulness or or, or or the reverse of that. But either way, a kind of attitude towards these thoughts, uh, you know, a kind of gratitude that or a, or a hope even, and a gratitude that we have hope. You know, I, if I'm homeless, I can have hope. That the universe is is guiding me in its in its fully deterministic way towards a future that's better than me lying on a street corner, or sleeping in a shop doorway. I can have a hope 
that the, that the fully determined universe is going to carry me into a better life. I can have that hope. And if I've got that hope, then I can um, kind, of, kind of be grateful for the fact that that hope is propelling me to, to, to try to do, to try, whatever that means, to do something about my condition right now. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, I mean, otherwise I've got despair that the universe has cast me aside. I'm here in this shop doorway and I know I always will be. So in a sense, these are just attitudinal. And of course, there is as much a product of the system as everything else. But, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of, um, they're, you can hope or you can despair without there being an intention to that. You can just have the feeling and let the feeling do its work um, without any kind of um, agency necessary to do that, without any, without the exertion of any of these powers which you keep invoking, and which I have to say I do, st I do still think is incoherent, invoking any kind of power in this system. I think you have to find other ways of doing it, a kind of information model rather than a hydraulic or a pneumatic model as you keep, I think, referring to. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Sorry about my hair, just noticed it's a bit sticky up here, isn't it? <laughs>